Good morning and welcome to Worship with Aldersgate. It is so good to see you tuning in and all of you here in the room. I am all dressed up like this because today is the day that we're celebrating this past week of vacation Bible school. We had about 20 kids and 14 adults here every morning this past week making waves, making waves for God. And so today we're celebrating that. Um, and yes, and also we have a birthday to celebrate. There's so many good things. So I'm glad you could be with us whenever you're watching and wherever you are. I have a question for you, the question of the day. We always have a question of the day to get us ready for the message. And the message this morning is a slideshow of all the events of the last week. So my question for you is, how many, are you excited to see the Vacation Bible School slideshow? If you are, say amen. amen. If you are, type it in the comments. <laughs> if you are, say amen. amen. All right, I'm going to go look at the comments afterward. But uh, we're, we're going to sing some songs for you. We're going to hear the memory verse that the kids learn. It's going to be wonderful, and I know you're going to love to hear it. I am so grateful for the power of the Holy Spirit, which binds us together as a community, no matter where we are, no matter when we're watching, as an Aldersgate family. And I want to remind you that if you have prayer requests today, even if you're in the room, to write them into the Facebook comments, um, and they will be collected and put together into a prayer at the end of the service. So with that... I will turn it over to Johnny. All right, thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's good to see all of you, and it's good to see some of our VBS uh, participants. Uh, we are going to start our morning with an opening song, How Great Is Our God, so please stand as you're able, and if you're at home, stand as you're comfortable, and join in in singing, How Great Is Our God. The splendor of the King, close in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, let all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice, and trembles at his voice. How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. And age to age he stands, and time is in his hands, getting at the end. Beginning at the end, the God had three in one. Father, Spirit, Son, the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb. How great is our God! Sing me, how great is our God! And all will see how great. How great is our God, oh, name above all names, worthy of all praise, my heart will sing how great is our God, oh, name above all names. God, sing with me how great is our God, 
and all will see how great, how great is our God. Amen. Beautiful. You may be seated. And I would like to welcome the children forward. Come on down. And, and any accompanying adults who need to join in as well. Hello. Good morning. Hi, Maze. Hi. I'm so glad that all of you are with us this morning. I love that pink. Pink and blue. Pink and blue. Look at that fabulous pink and blue. Well, before we get started, I want to get you ready because we're going to do our memory verse from Vacation Bible School that starts with the letter L. We remember that, right? But first, we have a birthday to celebrate today, and that is that Miss Charlotte, who just ran away, <laughs> is, that's okay, is turning two years old today. Hi, Charlotte. Let me do a little so we can just see, so people at home can see. There she is, Miss Two. Two is a fabulous age. I have been all <laughs> week with Charlotte, appreciating. Oh, down she goes. Oh, all right. Are we ready? It's okay if we sing? All right, you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Charlotte. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yeah, oh, I think she got it. And we have ice cream after the church service for Charlotte's birthday and also to celebrate all we did at Vacation Bible School. So I wonder if you all, oh, I didn't think about the camera. I, I want to show everyone the memory verse, see if we can do it. So we'll do it um, just sitting here, right here, I think. <laughs> no, I don't. All right, I want to show people at home, and that's the hard part of the scoot over loose, because they don't care about seeing me. But let's see if we can do it together. You remember this? Ready? With an L? You remember that one? Here we go. Lord, Lord you Lord. are more powerful than the roar of the ocean. You are stronger than the waves of the sea. Wow, the whole church knew that. Let's do it again. <laughs> Lord, you are more powerful than the roar of the ocean. You are stronger than the waves of the sea. That's right. That's Psalm 93.4, and we were working on that all week. I'll just put it right back here. So let me see and look at my schedule so I get it right. So we are about to hear, we'll stay right, no, we're going to go back to our seats after I pray, but we are going to hear all of Psalm 93 this morning. That's the book of the Bible that um, that verse came from. And then after that, we're going to come up and sing a song. We're going to sing, make a move. Make a move. Make. And so anyone who participated in making moves this week and knows this dance needs to come up and support us, please so that Johnny and I don't feel foolish. <laughs> and uh, then we'll see the slideshow, and then we'll sing, We're Making Waves and Stuff. In. Okay? That's the plan. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for a great vacation Bible school week. We had so much fun. It was so fun to be with our friends and to see all the fun decorations and eat the fun food and play the good games and to hear about how powerful you are in our lives, so powerful that you can help us make waves for you. God, thank you for the blessing of this last week, and I ask that you would bless each of the children and families that participated and all those supported. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. All right, back to your seats, and uh, we'll hear all of Psalm 93. Uh, good morning. I'm Annie Barkley, and I was one of the volunteers at Vacation Bible School. This scripture I'm reading contains the memory verse for VBS week, and please hear Psalm 93. The Lord rules. He puts on majesty as if it were clothes. The Lord puts on majesty and strength. Indeed, the world has been set in place. It is firm and secure. Lord, you began to rule a long time ago. You have always existed. Lord, the seas have lifted up their voice. They have lifted up their pounding waves. 
But Lord, you are more powerful, powerful than the roar of the ocean. You are stronger than the waves of the sea. Lord, you are powerful in heaven. Your laws do not change, Lord. Your temple will be holy for all time to come. It's all my Thank you, Annie. All right, now's the time, everybody. You were uh, hoping for an exercise program this morning, and we have it for you. So everybody who knows these dances, come on up. Come on up. We're making a move. You're going to come up, right? Yeah. Make a move? Yeah, yes, yes. I don't know it. Please. Check, check, check. Can't figure out if I'm on or not. Are we ready? <laughs> All right. And for the adults and everyone here, the uh, video is going to be up there. And that's actually how we learned was by watching the video. We're going to make a move. So um, if you want to stand up and join in, you most certainly can. So we had a tradition, Calvin was our DJ, and we would ask Calvin to play, and the way we would ask is we would say it together, you ready, we say it together, ready? One, two, two three, three, hit it! Help me God to see what you see. You are doing a great work in me I've decided I can stand still No, you have given me purpose All my, all my heart is yours All my, all my life is yours I will, I will make a move for you the slideshow and then uh, we'll do another one. All righty. We are ready when you are. Wait a minute. 
see what you see. You are doing a great work in me. I've decided I can't stand still. No, you have given me purpose. Oh, my, all my heart is yours. Oh, my, all my life is yours.
there. Oh, <laughs> here's North Reading's black bear we just found. We just noticed. Hi, Charlotte. So, adults, I guess you have an idea of how the other adults felt by the end of the week. Like, <gasps> but we did it. It was awesome. Um, hmm. I forgot. Let me find what I'm doing next. Oh, good. Okay. Well, so this is somewhat of a short Sunday morning service, and that's fine because part of the service is actually after the service, which is sharing ice cream together. We've got a couple of people serving. We have uh, all these different toppings, and we want you to stay. And we want you to visit with each other. So uh, we're keeping it tight this morning to allow for the visiting time. Um, if you are at home or uh, if you are here, this is a time of offering. If you'd like to support the church ministry with a financial gift, there is a link in the comments. Also here, if you're in the building on the blue table, there's a plate there, and we just appreciate your support and encouragement of what we're doing. Uh, for announcements, I have no announcements. I have an announcement. You have an announcement? Have an announcement. All right, Johnny. Uh, yeah. So for, I don't know how many years. Oh, boy. Uh, the band here has been blessed with so many wonderful musicians, uh, wonderful talent, and wonderful Christians who volunteer their time to provide music for this service and for the Lord. And of those, uh, we have a very special, talented individual who will be leaving us after this Sunday. And on behalf of the band and behalf of Pastor Rachel and the church, we wanted to tell Wes, thank you so much for all the time. <laughs> The effort, the energy, everything that you put in here. Come up, come up, come up. Yeah. Um, how many years have you have you been doing this? Five and a half. Five and a half. Wow, five and a half years of dedicated service. So thank you so much. Do you want to say anything? Yeah, but tell us where you're. Tell us yep. where, why you're leaving, honey. I'm going to college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I uh, leave for Bentley on Thursday afternoon. So, yeah, I'll be around for like Christmas, I think. I don't know if I'll actually be playing, but yeah, I'll be yeah. here. Uh. That's what he thinks. I that? said, that's what he thinks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's going to be playing for sure. Thank you, Wesley. Yeah. Oh, that's my oldest child, so I asked Johnny to make the announcement because, whew, <laughs> you just if you, if you reach out to me this week and I'm crying, just be like, that's good, that's good. I know what you're going through, and it's happy tears. Happy tears. So, ah, okay. The, okay, that was the only announcement. For celebration and thanks, um... I'm going to say this. I'll tell you a quick story because we have a minute. Um, for Vacation Bible School this year, we hadn't done VBS in three years because of COVID. And before that, we'd only done it twice. It's relatively new around here. And so in January, I was thinking, A, I'm depressed and discouraged because of Omicron, whichever wave we were in at that time. And I thought, can we possibly have a VBS this summer? And so I floated a trial balloon. I said, okay, Holy Spirit, you just help me. Help me know if we should even go for it. Because, you know, it's hard. You build up all that courage and energy and hope for something to have it snatched away. And we've all lived through that so many times over and over again through this whole adventure. And so I floated a balloon with a couple people, and Elaine Tanner was the one way back in January. And honestly, Elaine, I was kind of discouraged at that point. I was like, I know I need to do this. I'll be obedient and do it. But I'm not, I wasn't bringing it in January. And you were like, yes, let's do it. I love Vacation Bible School. And from the very start all the way through, she was making us waffles in the kitchen this week. She was cheerful. She, I mean, and you didn't have an easy home life this week, you know, life through some curveballs in the family. And you were here serving and just, just building it up. And without you, that would not have, this whole thing wouldn't have happened. So let's thank you. <laughs> And also, you've sent kids to college, so I may be calling you this week. <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> all right. So thank you, thank you to Elaine. Um, and thank you also for sharing your prayer requests during the week and um, in the comments today. Let's be in an attitude of prayer. God, you do give us so many gifts. One of the 
biggest and most humbling gifts you give us is the promise that you've made us with special passions and gifts that we can share with the world. And with your help, we can actually make an influence for you and make the world a little bit of a better place. That's really encouraging, God, because we know that we're not perfect. We know that um, we, our motivations aren't always good. And yet you still love us and forgive us and work with us and use us to do good things. And so thank you for being with us to help us make waves for you in this world. God, you know all the prayer requests in this room, whether or not we've shared them. Um, so I lift them all to you at this time and uh, ask that you'd help us to have the eyes and the heart of faith as you respond to them. We have concerns in our community, God. We always pray for those who are struggling with or in recovery from addiction and for those with mental illness, depression, and anxiety. We ask for wholeness, Lord. We pray for those grieving loss. We pray for the Spicer Morissette family um, awaiting the passing of Kevin's father probably sometime very soon and just ask that you give them strength and pray for Lowell Spicer. We pray for Lucy Frischer's friend Casey after the passing of her aunt and ask that you give her comfort. We pray for Marianne Kushbar and ask that you would mend her body. And we pray for Shirley's friend Sharon, Shirley Duggan's friend Sharon, who's in the ICU and has been diagnosed with a brain tumor. God, we pray for all healthcare workers who are still struggling. Uh, for Peter Dwyer, we ask that he would recover completely from COVID. And we lift a prayer for Ed and Sandy Berkeley. God, I, oh, yes. Uh, many joys among us. Lord, we've seen them in front of us with our eyes. So thank you for the celebration and joy and fun and energy of VBS for the volunteers and the kids. Uh, we celebrate Charlotte's second birthday today and also Noah Spicer's 20 something birthday today and ask that you bless them in the upcoming year. We pray for the start of a new school year for the kids going to college and starting high school, middle school, elementary school, preschool. Pray for the teachers, God and ask that this would be a year of strengthening and building for everyone. Thank you for hearing our prayers, God. We ask now that you would hear us pray as we pray this prayer your son Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right, we have a closing song this morning, and after that I really do welcome you to hang out, have some ice cream. There's even Italian ice that's left over, Ooh. too. Yeah, so there's, you know, if you're watching your little calories, like, you know, there's something for you, too. <laughs> All right. All right, let's stand and join in singing the hymn of the month, Giving Thanks. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. And whatever you do in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord. Give in thanks, give in thanks to God through Christ the Lord. Give in thanks, give in thanks to God through Christ the Lord. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. And whatever you do, be it word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord. Giving thanks, giving thanks to God through Christ the Lord. Giving thanks, giving thanks to God through Christ the Lord. 
Amen.